Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. Okay, let's continue with the uh, final part of the Mercury structure waveguide analysis. So we have discussed on the uh, rectangular and circular, and uh, in this um, slides or in this video, uh, I'm going to discuss further about the uh, planar waveguide analysis. Okay, so to uh, refresh or to recap, so you can refer to the second video that includes a description on planar, strip line, and micro strip line waveguide. Alright, so this video consists of a strip line and micro strip line um, planar transmission line analysis. So before that, please uh, ensure that you scan the attendance QR code using UTM Smart. Okay, as has been discussed earlier, um, the strip line basically includes a flat strip of metal which is sandwiched between two parallel ground planes. So this is the microwave uh, strip line. So if in comparison to the macro strip, so the micro strips where uh, the conductor being placed on top. Okay, but for strip line, uh, the flat, uh, the metal strip is sandwiched. Okay, in between two parallel ground planes. All right, so uh, the tables on the right hand side are basically uh, some of the notation and also symbols that you are going to deal with in the strip line and micro strip line analysis. So. Um, to revise, the strip line supports TEM wave, TEM mode, and this is basically the uh, common mode of operation for strip line. Okay, for strip line um, macro structure, so we can calculate the phase velocity for the TEM mode of operation, VP, by using the following equation. So C is the speed of light and the epsilon R is the relative permittivity of the uh, dielectric materials. Okay, in uh, where the strip line is uh, placed or being sandwiched in between two parallel metal ground plane. And the propagation constant beta is equivalent to the uh, epsilon R, the square root of epsilon R K naught. So this one is K naught epsilon R. So epsilon R, again, the relative permittivity of the materials. And K naught is the wave number given by this equation. 2 pi F, the uh, frequency of operation divided by the um, speed of light. And the wavelength of the line equal to lambda. While the characteristic impedance like not equal to 1 over Vp with the phase velocity multiplied by the uh, speed of light and uh, the characteristic impedance can also be uh, calculated by using this equation in which it depends on the B, B or H, the thickness of the structure, B or H. Okay. And the WE here is basically the effective width of the center conductor. Okay, so effective width of the center conductor. Okay, why there is an uh, effective width? Okay, because uh, the since the strip line lies in between two ground planes, so ground plane here and here, and you have the dielectric materials in between, okay, due to the different properties of the materials uh, that the strip line being exposed to, that, that's why we need uh, the effective width, okay, so the width here is W, so WE effective width due to the surrounding materials or some surrounding environment uh, to the uh, strip line. Okay, so the effective width can be calculated by using this equation, and B again is equal to H, the thickness of the 
uh, overall structure. Okay, so for uh, W over B uh, larger than 0 0.35, so the effective, the ratio of the WE effective width divided by B equal to 0 and otherwise it will be this. Okay, uh, alright, so when designing a strip line circuit, so the width is one of the uh, important parameters that you need to look at. So we can estimate the W over B, the width, the ratio of the width to the uh, height or the thickness of the structure by using this, in which it depends on the characteristic impedance and also the epsilon r, the relative permittivity of the structure. All right, so if it is less than 120, so it will be equal to x, the ratio of the width to the height or the thickness equal to x, in which you can calculate the x equal to this equation. Okay, let's look at an example of a strip line. So a strip line has characteristic wow. impedance of z0 equal to 90, so z0 equal to 90, and the length of 5 lambda over 8. Okay, so calculate the width and the length for the case of following substrates. Okay, so these are the general criteria of the strip line. So you need to calculate the width and the length for two different cases, which using different properties of substrate materials, substrate materials where the strip line is sandwiched. Okay, so in the calculation, use the F, the frequency equal to 5 gigahertz. Right, the answer is shown. Uh, however, uh, as I mentioned earlier, you need to show clearly your steps, which include the general equation, and then include the values into the equation before your final answer. Okay, let's uh, try this out. So the given question just now, you have the uh, strip line with z0 equal to 90 ohm and the length given as 5 lambda over 8. Okay, so the, and then you need to calculate the width and the length if the substrate use having these properties. Right, so to get the W and also the length. So refer to the equation, the related equation. So firstly, the one related to the width is basically from the ratio of W over B, in which it is equal to X 0 0.85 minus 0 0.6 minus x for z0 epsilon r less than 120 ohm or for z0 epsilon r larger than 120 ohm. So to choose either w over b equal to x or the other one, so you need to calculate the this one first, z0 er. Okay, so Z0 epsilon R, so your Z0 given is 90, and the epsilon R given for the first case is 5.23, 5.23, so you get it equal to 205.82, so which is larger than 120 ohm. Therefore, you'll be using this. Okay, so your W over B will be equal to 0 0.85 minus 0 0.6 minus X. Then what is X? So X, you need to calculate from the equation of X equal to 30 pi divided by z0 epsilon r minus 0 0.441 so 30 pi divided by z0 is 90 
epsilon r is 5.23 in this case Oops, minus 0.441 so in which your x is should be equal to 0 0.017 so from here you can calculate your the ratio of w w over b equal to 0 0.85 minus 0 0.6 minus 0 0.017 so the ratio is 0 0.086 okay so now um, to get the um, w so the w will be equal to 0 0.086 multiplied by your b or the thickness of the structure so you have two thickness in the question where the thickness of the structure 2mm or copper thickness so b or h is equal to the thickness of the structure the copper thickness is basically the uh, the thickness of the strip line okay but i mean the, the the metal strip but for thickness this thickness is basically for the whole structure so in this case 0 0.086 multiplied by 2 millimeter so your w will be equal to 0 0.172 millimeter okay so please be careful with the unit if you want to use millimeter so use millimeter for all calculation or else you need to convert it into standard unit meter right next you have the w how about the l so the l given from the question Okay, the L given as 5 lambda over 8 but what will be the actual value so what is your lambda so lambda equal to C over F C is the speed of light divided by your F given just now is 5 gigahertz so you can get your lambda equal to 0 0.0 to 6 meter okay so then you can calculate your L equal to 5 lambda 0 0.026 meter divided by 8 right so you should get your L equal to um, 16 millimeter or 0 0.016 meter okay so you already have your W and L Alright, so same goes to the question B. So you uh, need to use the um, suitable equation so that you can get the uh, W and L. But this calculation only valid if there's no uh, phase shift requirement in the structure. Okay, if there's phase shift require phase shift requirement, so uh, there will be uh, additional. Um, equation that you need to consider so i'll be discussing that in the uh, micro strip uh, waveguide analysis so for micro strip line analysis so please make sure you know the difference between the structure itself how the micro strip and the strip line looks like okay so the strip line is sandwiched in between two ground plane while the um the micro strips basically consists of a conducting strip separated from a ground plane by a dielectric material so you have this metal strip okay and then separated by a dielectric or the short strip material and you have another layer of ground plane at the bottom okay but for strip lined the metal strip is in between two metal ground plane all right so uh, Again, the same uh, parameters uh, used in the analysis. So the phase velocity can be calculated by this one. And the beta is using the same equation, K0 epsilon effective. But for um, strip line just now, it's K0 epsilon R. Okay, so you need to be careful. So make sure when you refer to the appendix, you refer to the uh, right equation right okay the slide shows uh, some fabricated uh, microstrip lined uh, that's 
use as uh, a coupler and also power divider. Okay, some equations involved in microstrip line analysis, the phase velocity as mentioned earlier, and the propagation constant beta equal to K0, the wave number multiplied by the effective uh, permittivity. In strip line, you use effect, um, relative permit permittivity, the epsilon r, but in the uh, microstrip line, you use effective permittivity. Right, so the effective dielectric constant of the microstrip can be calculated by this equation in which you have a d, d and also the width. The d is basically the height or the thickness of the substrate material uh, that separate the uh, microstrip line to the ground plane. Okay, the dielectric constant. Okay, why we need to consider the effective dielectric constant epsilon e epsilon, epsilon e uh, effective dielectric constant because uh, the dielectric constant of homogeneous material uh, media okay the effective basically considering the homogeneous medium replaces the air and also the region the dielectric region of the microstrip okay since uh, this strip line is exposed to two different properties. The first one is the air and also to the dielectric materials. That's why, so that's relative permittivity for the substrate or dielectric materials. And you have another one, um, epsilon naught for the air. So from here, you calculate the epsilon E, effective uh, permittivity where the uh, microstrip line is exposed or is placed on right so then the wavelength of the uh, line can be calculated by using lambda still dependent on the epsilon e the effective uh, permittivity or dielectric constant okay, next is the characteristic impedance uh, for microstrip line can be estimated by using the following equations that it depends on the d the thickness of the substrate and the width uh, okay so and the uh, ratio of the w to d can be estimated by using the following equations uh, where there's a variable of a and b which can be estimated by the following equation all right. Uh, in the case of the line required to produce a phase delay of a phi, okay, and the length of the microstrip can be calculated by the rela this relation. Okay, the phi uh, in radian, okay, equal to beta L. So beta is Oh, sorry, beta is the cannot cannot the wave number multiplied by the epsilon e square root multiplied by l the length of the structure. Okay, so from here, uh, the cannot is equal to uh, two pi f over c. So from uh, from here you can get the l the length of the microstrip structure considering the phase shift or phase delay required by the system. Okay. Besides equation and calculation, you can also estimate the ratio, the width and the height or the um, thickness of the substrate by using microstrip graph. So in which is basically uh, show the relation between the Z0 and also the ratio of W over H. So once you know the characteristic impedance, for example, um, 100, then you can estimate what will be the ratio of W over H by knowing the constant, okay, the epsilon, relative permittivity of the uh, substrate material. Okay, for example, if the substrate material use is 2.3, so and the uh, z naught or character impedance equal to 100. So this is the line for 2.3 cross 
crossing there so you can actually get the ratio of W over H is about 0 0.9 something okay the ratio of W over H okay same goes to um, you can estimate the wavelength or you can estimate the W over H if you know the wavelength of the structure and you know the epsilon r of the structure as well so the wavelength of uh, the micro strip or the, the designed uh, basically is the relation between the lambda g and lambda naught lambda g is the micro strip uh, the, the uh, group uh, wavelength divided by epsilon naught is the uh, free space wavelength okay and uh, in practical, there will be some losses okay, due to the uh, property of the dielectric materials where the uh, microstrip uh, metal is placed on and also the surrounding environment. So there are two uh, common losses in microstrip uh, line, uh, transmission line, which are the dielectric and also the conductor losses, which can be estimated. So D for dielectric when um, you can estimate the losses by using this equation. Um, so you have the wave number, relative permittivity, effective permittivity, or dielectric constant, uh, the loss tangent, and also, um, okay, that's it. All right, same goes to the conductor loss, uh, C for conductor loss, alpha is the attenuation or the loss, uh, where it relates uh, the RS, the surface resistivity of the conductor, okay, in which you can estimate by using this equation and divided by the characteristic impedance and also the, the width of the structure. Okay, the dielectric loss, as I mentioned, due to the fields around the micro strip line itself, okay, which uh, where the strip line is exposed to the air and also to the uh, substrate material or dielectric materials which are lossy materials okay let's let's look at an example on microstrip um, transmission line so given the microstrip that has con characteristic impedance z not equal to 120 ohm so z not equal to 120 ohm and it with a 90 degree phase shift so you have the phi equal to 90 degree at the F equal to 2.5 gigahertz. Determine its width and length, so the W and the L for the cases of the following. Okay, now again you have two different substrate materials. So uh, I think um, the steps are more or less the same as the strip line. However, uh, in here you need to consider the phase shift okay the line is required to produce a phase shift on 90 degree all right therefore you can uh, calculate the uh, l by considering the phase shift okay the phase shift equal to beta l so in which is l beta is k naught epsilon r epsilon e in this case so since it is microstrip so you can get the epsilon e from the uh, by using the uh, equation and then k naught is the wave number equal to 2 pi f over c okay what else um, okay don't forget the uh, phase will be in radian okay from here you can get the the length and the width as usual, you can get the ratio of W over H, then you can get the uh, W, the width of the structure. Okay, for earlier example, you can also estimate, you can also compare your calculation with um, the graph. Okay, so you can refer to the Z0 versus W over H. So you can compare your W over H value with the one you have calculated. All right, so another uh, example given. Uh, for a strip line or micro strip line, it can be both. Alright, so you need to calculate the width again, the L, and what happened when you change the characteristic impedance equal to other values. Okay, the first 
1 is 50 ohm what happen when we change it to 20 and 70 all right so uh, you can uh, compare the values and put it in the table I'll share the table uh, at the end of the video right this is just the um, some revision on the cycles the wave Okay, how about the phase shift and etc. Okay, this is the answer for the ex additional exercise just now. So you need to perform the calculation before you refer to this table. And you can uh, see the difference between the strip line and the micro strip line parameters when you change the characteristic impedance. Right, this is the main reference for this topic. Thank you.